Hey everybody, welcome back to the fourth part of the Super Mario Bros tutorial in Construct 2. This time around we're going to finish up Mario's animations for the most part and move on to the next video to finish Mario up. So in the last video I left you, we had small Mario running, jumping and standing still, which sounds weird. And now we're going to quickly move on to getting big Mario's animations working. Now, first of all we're going to do the code, second of all there's a little bit of tweaking we have to do because I made a stuff up, or a couple of stuff ups in the second video unfortunately, but it won't take us long to fix those. Now, this is the part we did last video to make Mario run, jump, and stand still. What we're going to do is we're actually going to copy all this code and turn it into the big Mario's animation stuff as well. So all you're going to do for this, guys, is click on the little tab for Event 5, so it selects everything, click Copy, and then hit Paste, and you'll see it makes an exact duplicate of everything, events, and actions, and all. The next thing we're going to do is turn this into the big one. There's only four things we have to edit. We have to have edit the condition here, because this is saying Mario is not big. Small, small, and small. We have to change them to big. So first of all, let's right click on this event and let's click invert, and that makes it back to is big. Double click on the animation, and set small to big in each case. Small, big, small, big. Done. That's actually Mario's big animations done, all but one animation, and we'll do that next. It takes a little bit more coding, unfortunately. But the question might be, how do I actually test the code? Because Mario starts small, okay? We could easily code a mushroom and make him grow and things like that. But just for debugging purposes, to make sure we get it right, and I tell you we haven't, well, I haven't, but to do it, you click on Mario, and you change the is big instance variable to true. And that means this code from event 9 will occur instead of event 5. So let's run layout and let's look at the issues we're going to have. Mario likes to bounce and that's because his image points between his jumping animation and his idle animation are one pixel out. So when he hits the ground he's one pixel down, it puts him in the idle animation, all of a sudden it has to pull him up so he's falling or jumping or whatever and he just gets stuck in that mode. So the way to fix it is we're going to double click on Mario, we're going to click on the big jumping animation and we're just going to increase the Y position by one. So we're putting it down one point. Now before we go anywhere, we're going to do the same thing for Big Ducking, because I stuffed that one up as well. Just increase it by one. And the third thing we need to fix for the big animations is the running frames are actually backwards. If you click on these, you can see if you use your eyes closely on this leg, he's running backwards. So we need to swap the zero and the two frame around. So I'm going to drag this to the end, drag that one to the front. Now he's running forwards. Okay, much better. Close that. If you need time, please pause the video and follow up with me. But I'm going to hit run out, run layout, and make sure all of this works, which it does. It's good. A couple of tweaks of all the image points. I know it was a bit annoying. I'm sorry about that, people. Anyway. This is almost done. I said that we've got one more animation, and you may have noticed it is the good old ducking animation. Right? So what we're going to do is add another sub-event to event 9. So I want you to click on 9. I want you to click the S key. Okay? And now we're going to add in, if they press the down arrow, Big Mario is going to duck. Okay? So keyboard. Key is down. What key is down? Well, we want the down arrow, because we're using the arrows for the moment. Go done. And let's set his animation, whoop, sorry, Mario, set animation to big ducking. All right, so if the down arrow is down, as soon as we hold it, Mario is going to be ducking. Test it out. It works, but there's a few little problems. I can move around still, and it looks dumb. I can jump and duck in the air. So there's two problems we need to fix. The first one we're going to fix is ducking in the air. So let's add another condition to this guy to make sure he's on the floor. So right click on this condition, add another condition, go to Mario, is on, whoop, if you spell it right, is on floor. So that's going to stop him ducking in the air. How do we stop Mario being controlled while he's ducking? Well, we simply disable the platform behavior. Okay, so we can't move left and right. So if you go Mario, uh, I think it's set enabled, yep, memory serves me well, make sure the state is disabled, and there you go. So, so long as they're holding the down arrow, they're on the floor, nah, we're going to duck, 
and we're not going to be able to move around. Okay, you'll also notice that when we go back to the other state, we're stuck because I'm not re-enabling the platform behavior. So what we need to do is we need to come up under this event, under Mario is active. So I want you to press S on that. Well, actually, no, what am I talking about? Let's do it under this one. You're an idiot. Anyway, event nine, press S on event nine. Okay, we're gonna check if they release the down arrow. So keyboard on key released and the key is down. There you go. And what do we do? We simply set enabled for the platform to enabled. All right, give it a test. Make sure it doesn't break everything. Now you can see I stuffed up the image point as well. Mario's hopping a pixel off the ground. But I'm gonna leave that up to you guys to fix, okay? I've had enough with my little fiddly fixes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right, those are done. Those are the basic animations finished. Now, I talked briefly last video about speeding up and slowing down Mario's running animation. If you've played the original Super Mario Brothers, you would probably have noticed that when you start running, you're slowly running, and when you hit your maximum speed, Mario's animation speed speeds up, okay? Mario himself does speed up, but his animation is the main thing that speeds up, okay? So let's say he's a small Mario and he's running along, and he's not hit his max speed yet, then he's going to be running at sort of a half a speed. When he hits his max speed, he starts running at full speed. Okay? Now, the half speed, I'm assuming, I've just taken a number and tested it. It looks all right. I'm, I say the half speed is 7, and the full speed is 15. All right? So what we're going to do is we're going to check if he's running, and then we have to check if he's underneath his max speed. And then we set it to half speed. If he's at his max speed, we set it to 15. So click on the second event. Let's click on S and start this bad boy. First of all, we need to check if he's running. And it's really easy to do. You go Mario, and we're going to check if a certain animation is playing. So this is playing right here. The animation I want to check is small running to start with. Okay, and that's a pretty easy read, that one. Okay, is animation small running playing? If it is, then we need to check what speed he's currently at. Now, this one is a little bit more complicated, but bear with me. Add a sub-event to 15, and there's a reason I'm adding a sub-event, and I'll show you in a moment. Let's go Mario. Just type in speed. Be careful. Don't check the animation speed. Check his platform speed, all right? Because we don't care how... We're going to change the animation speed, but we don't care what it is. Okay, platform compare speed. Okay, we need to check if it's smaller than his max speed. So if his current speed is less than, and this is probably the complicated part. Now, we need to check his max speed. So it's Mario dot platform dot max speed all right make sure you get all those dots in the right place otherwise you're not going to be able to do this so if his speed is less than his max speed then set mario's animation speed so just type in speed this one here now set speed to seven so if he's running and his speed is less than his max set it to seven okay now we want otherwise so if he's slower than his max speed then we set it to 7 otherwise we set it to 15 a full pulse full pelt <laughs> all right and another way for saying otherwise is the word else now if you right click on the little left hand part here for 16 add add else all right and then this action here on 17 mario set speed 15 so now it reads as if he's running if he's less than his max speed half speed else full speed and that's it the only other thing we have to do now is add the big running animation in there okay and it's pretty easy to do but what we need to do if we add another condition here so right click and add another condition I just used the shortcut before by pressing C okay we go Mario is playing big running that reads now pretty much the same way as we talked about it in the um, animations in here if he's big running and he's small running, he can't be both at the same time, can he? He's going to be one or the other. So right click on the left part of 15 and make it an or block. So if he's small running or he's big running, then we're going to do this code no matter what. Okay, so it's a quick way of us not having to repeat this stuff by making an or block there. All right, that's actually it. So let's save, test, make sure it works. Small, fast, slow, fast, I mean, slow, fast. 
Now you can tweak with the speeds if you don't like how slow he runs or how fast he runs. It's up to you. All you have to do is change those two numbers and it'll work for you. And we're going to finish up with one more animation, everybody. We're going to do skidding. All right. Again, if you played the original Super Mario Bros, you'll know when you run along, if you're at maximum speed and then you go to turn around the other direction, Mario does a quick little skid. And that's where the skid animation comes into it. All right, so let's say we're running to the right. So we're holding the right key, and all of a sudden we're at max speed, and we hit the left key to turn around. Mario will do a quick skid, and then just start moving the other way. So what we're going to do, I'm just going to minimize that event. Okay, now all this code, because this code is going to be for big Mario and small Mario, again, it's going to go under event number two. So I want you to press S. We're going to go to Mario. Oh, no, 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 we're not. We're going to go to keyboard. Da -da -da because we're checking if they've pressed the left arrow. So if we're running to the right, we know they're holding the right key. When they press left, all of a sudden, we want to do a skid if we're at max speed. So you're going to go on key pressed, and it's going to be left. So obviously this is only going to work for if Mario is running to the right to start with. We'll add the other direction as soon as we're done. We then need to check if he is max speed. All right. So let's add a sub-event to here. Let's go to Mario, and we're doing the exact same thing we did before. We're going to check the platform speed. We're going to check if it's equal to Mario's platform max speed. So this time we're checking if he is at maximum speed at the moment. Okay, there you go. And then finally, what we're going to do is we're going to check if he's big or small. All right, this is going to be for the small one. We're going to add another event for 20, which is going to be for if he's big. So all I want to do right now is we're going to add another condition. Go Mario, instance boolean, is big. Now that's for if he is big, you need to invert it for small. Okay? And the two actions we're going to do, we're going to bring in that instance variable that we haven't used yet. So set boolean skidding to true. All right, and I'll explain why we got that in a moment, but for the moment, let's just finish this up. And then we set his animation to small skidding. All right. I'm going to copy this code and then I'm just going to change it into the big code. So copy, paste, turn this back to big, change this to big skidding. All right. Save. If you need time to do that, please pause the video because I'm going to test and make sure this works. So we're going to have to hit max speed running to the right and then try to turn to the left. All right. I'm not sure if you can see it. No, not really working, is it? Now, the reason being is because as soon as we set the animation to skidding, this code over here takes over and it sets him back to a running animation. So this is why we have the is skidding boolean. Because we need to make sure that if he's skidding, no other animations can play until they're finished. So what we do there is we're going to add a condition to both of these to check that he is not skidding. So while he is skidding, None of this can happen. So, let's we'll start with the small one as we always do. Proceed to add another condition. Mario, Boolean variable set, is skidding, and make sure it's inverted. So while he's not skidding, we can't run jump or idle. He's going to skid only. Copy that, paste it there. Okay, save. Now, we're not quite finished here, so you're going to be screaming my name but anyway let's try it out let's run layout all right <laughs> he works it's just he doesn't come out of his skidding animation because we've disabled it while his skidding is true we can't have any other animation animations playing so what we're just going to check quickly everybody is we're going to check if we're finished skidding and that's pretty easy to do let's just collapse number 18 and we're going to add another event to Event number two, I should say. Press S, go to Mario. We're going to check if his skidding animation is finished. So, if we have a look here, there is on finished. There. Let's start with the small. Whoa, that's not a quote mark. Small skidding. Come down. So, on animation, small skidding finished. We're going to set is skidding to false. Pretty straightforward. Mario, set boolean, is skidding, false. And now what we have to do is just add it so it's the big skidding as well. Now, if we quickly do another condition here and go to Mario, 
you'll notice that we don't get the ability to say on finished. So what we have to do is make this an all block now, and then we can add the second condition. So I want you to right click on this guy, make all block, and then when we go to add the second condition, there's the on finished act, uh, event right there. Okay, it's big skidding. All right. So either one of these finish, we set skidding to false. Try it out. So you've got to hit max speed when you do it. Ugh. I think it's facing the wrong way, but it's all right for the moment. There you go, everybody. That's pretty much done. The animations are 100% finished, except for his grow and his shrink. But we need to implement a little bit more code before we can do those ones. Hope you enjoyed this video, everybody. I hope you caught up with me. And as always, please comment, subscribe, like down the bottom. I'd love to hear from you. I'll see you in the next video, everybody. We're going to finish up Mario then.